during the eight seasons here. So we are uh, having a finale party yes. with the help of HEB, thank goodness. So Linda Rossman, who I begged and begged to come here, had good enough to share with us the best ideas for throwing an epic finale party. So start us off here. Okay. Um, online, you can go to HEB.com and look up Game of Thrones inspired recipes. So this is where I picked all these up. They even make these cute little name cards. So if you want to do a party and actually have the name cards printed, put them up so the folks coming in will know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. For instance, the pizza, we know um, Cal Drago. It is Kale Drago Pizza. Get it? Get it? And we're having fun with this. Yeah. You can go and buy pizza from the deli, put the kale on top after you bake it, and make it simple for yourself. Yeah, or we can do the whole kit and caboodle. But why do it? Because H-E-B will do it for you. And then what is, what's the dip right there? That is the wildfire jalapeno popper dip. So okay. wildfire was a big theme in there as well. And it's cream cheese, mayo, green chilies, a little bit of shredded, um, shredded jack cheese. But instead of bacon bits, I put the bacon jam in there from the cooking connection. Oh. A little extra flavor. Now, I made a large amount. So you have one that is cold and one is hot. So if you want to like separate yes. it out and do two different ones of the party and not do as much work, cheat. Because... It's based on a series of books called Songs of Ice and Fire. So you got the cold and you got, you got the hot. You see where we're going here? Now, what would you do for a grilled cheese? How does that go with Game of Thrones? Grilled cheese has no name. Get it? <laughs> it's a grilled cheese that has no name. So there is a recipe there, but if you want to cheat, make your own grilled cheese with whatever inside, you know, fillings you can. Absolutely do that. Simple as can be. This looks like it came from the bakery. It, this is from the bakery. So again, if you are not a baker, our bakery will help you. These are the red velvet wedding cupcakes yeah. with the red wedding. Yeah. So if you want to do that or if you want to get a box mix, that's fine. But our bakery makes the most delicious cream cheese topped red velvet cupcakes. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I, I do love a glass of wine yes. ever so often. But then you're saying that this is actually something special here. It's a Game of Thrones wine. Yes. And it's very few of these are available. They have been going quickly throughout the season, so your store may or may not have it. So you might want to shop early for that one. Grab it while you can because I believe it's going to be a collector's item. Yeah, You've already talked about it. that. Yes. And yes, the muffins over there. I like that one. You, you don't know muffin, John. John Snow. <laughs> so again, if you want to bake your own muffins, great. If not, the bakery can help you. But how clever is that, though? You're serving up some muffins. Okay, great. But then you add the name on it. You really tie it into the theme of the show and make sure everybody has a good time. Yes. And then the dragon. I love that. Look at that. The dragon's milk, a little stout beard. It's a bourbon barrel age. So have a party. Plan it now. You have time to order things from the bakery, yes. pick up things ahead, and really sit down and watch that final episode and have fun. And also, do you have Kleenex available so yes. we can cry our way through it? Like, I so Drown our tears in red velvet wedding yes. cupcakes. Oh